Hello everyone and welcome to this video from Excel Tips. In this channel, we discuss about Excel tips that gets your work done accurately and efficiently. Today's video is on how we can add leading zeros to a number in Excel. Imagine a scenario where you have a set of numbers of varying lengths and you need to convert them to a fixed length by adding leading zeros. For example, here we have a list of numbers with length 1 to 5 and we want to convert them into a list of numbers of all of them having 5 characters long and if any of the numbers is less than 5 characters, we want to add zeros in front of it. For example, 1 becomes 4 zeros and a 1 and if it is already 5 characters long, we do not want to add any leading zeros. So in today's video, I will show you three different ways how you can achieve this and we will also discuss when you should be using each of these three methods. So let us see these, how we can implement these three methods. So we will start with method three first. Before we start with method three, I would like to say that when should you be using this method? This method is very useful if you have a very few numbers to convert and you do not mind doing it manually. For example, if I had just two numbers to convert, if I add these two, and I want to convert one and 12 to a number with two leading zeros, I can use uh, this method. So this method uses, as you can see, uses convert the number to a text format and that can be done very easily in Excel by clicking on the cell and adding a single quote and after that I will add four zeros and I will type in one. The next one I will say again add single quotes, three zeros and twelve and so on and so forth. As you can see, as I said earlier, this is a very manual method and is best if for only very few numbers and is not suitable for a huge list of numbers where you have to do it many times. Method two is uses a formula to add the leading zeros to it. So it is suitable for a large list of numbers. However, it is best, it is, because it uses a formula, it is best if you use it on a different cell. For example, if you want to change it, it, you have your original list of numbers here and you want your leading list with leading zeros in a different column, you can easily use this method. We will use a very simple formula here. Again, we will use the text feature of in Excel and we will say equal to text as you can see it's come here and it takes two parameters value and the format that we want the value is uh, this cell we will click this cell and say and the format text we will say we want it to be five zeros or five characters long add five zeros leading zeros we'll say open double quotes zero 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 so we have five zeros here double quotes and and as you can see, one has now been converted to four zeros and a one. Similarly, if I just now drag this, the formula will get filled. And as you can see, it is now, we have got the desired result here. As I said, this is used, this is a formula and can be easily used for a larger list of numbers. But if you have your original data here, it's best if you use it to fill a second column. The last method or the method one use is also suitable for a large list of numbers and does not use a formula. So it can be easily used in place. So for example, if you have this list of numbers, let me copy this to a different cell so that I can show you an example. So for example, if I wanted to convert these values to numbers with leading zeros in place, I can use this method. Now this method 
uses the formatting trick. It uses a formatting trick. So what I will do, it is a two-step method. The first step would be I would select all the numbers that I want to convert or a format. I will select all the numbers, right click, and go to format cells. When this pop-up opens up, I will ensure that I am on number and then I go to custom. In custom, what I will do is I will just say if I want it to be five characters long, I will say 0000, zero, 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 zero and I will hit OK. As you can see now, it has replaced the numbers in place or reformatted the numbers in place so that my original list has now become a formatted with leading zeros. So this is useful if you have no issues in replacing your original numbers with numbers with leading zeros. You can use this as a very quick method. So these are the three methods that we wanted to show you here. If this video was useful to you, do hit the like button. And as always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.